Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions. This weekend just gone, a few results went slightly against the odds, a few results went, you know, with a relegation bottom three team beating, I think they're in the top ten at the time, I think they still are. Um, but, you know, it was one of them weeks in the Premier League where it's a bit of a shock on some results. Um, also, VAR played a big occasion again this weekend. I'll talk about all about that when I'll get down to their fixtures. Um, but anyway, guys, you know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to get to a 1,000 subs. Um, come the end of the season, the best way can help me is by sharing my videos, letting people know about this channel. And let's see if we can do that together. And then there will be a special video come the thousand subs. Um, but how quick we see that, it's up to you guys. Um, but yeah, just share my video, let people know about the channel, and see if we can do it together. And it would be my goal at the start of the season. So, you know, let's see if we can do it. Um, but anyway, guys, you know what I do. So, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So the first game I'll kick off with is Southampton versus Leicester. Southampton um, drawing one all away to Wolverhampton, and I know VAR played a big part in that game. Um, I'll talk about more about that with the Wolverhampton results as on the Wolverhampton end. Uh, Leicester one one against Burnley. Yet again, I know VAR played its part on the Burnley end, so I'll talk about that when I get down to the Burnley game. Um, but as far as the two results go, Southampton won all away to Wolves. I think I got one dead on. Um, you're going to have to let me know. So, with the Leicester um, result, two, oh, sorry, it's 2-1 against Burnley. Um, yeah, I think I did say it. You know anyway. Um two one against Burnley at home. More likely to happen for Leicester, but two one result. Um Southampton got to be up here for the point. Um but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a two nil Leicester City win. My next one is Manchester City versus Aston Villa. Aston Villa beating Brighton 2-1 um, at home. Manchester City beating Palace 2-0 away from home. Aston Villa beating Brighton 2-1. I know Brighton went down to 10 men. Um, and Villa could have got a lot more than just them two. Um, but a good result for Villa. Um, I think that puts them in the top half now. But Villa have got another big game this weekend coming up against City, which is where this three points against Brighton could count. Um, Manchester City 2 0 against Palace could have had a few more um, City at that game. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 0 Manchester City win. My next one is Brighton and Albion versus Everton. Brighton, just as you mentioned, them lost 2 1. Away to Villa, Everton beating West Ham 2 0 at home. Um, the disappointing day for Brighton, I personally think. Um, although I wouldn't say they're all over Villa, they were more attacking when they had the 11 men, but a red card for. Um, Aaron Moore, sorry for my name. Um, you know, but that, but the, I don't think uh, um, Aaron was thinking so bright enough to move on. Same as all the clubs that lost this weekend. Um, Everton beating West Ham 2 0, thoroughly deserved. I don't think West Ham really turned up. I thought West Ham were poor. So good three points for Everton there. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Watford versus Bournemouth. Um, 
Watford drawing 1 1 away to Tottenham. Bournemouth drawing at home with Norwich 0 0. Um, disappointing day for Bournemouth. Um, I only say it's disappointing because you're at home, newly promoted team. I think I put Bournemouth down to win that one above. Um, Tottenham on the other hand, well, Watford on the other hand, disappointing day for them. Watford nearly clinched the win as well. Um, but, you know, point for Watford, a point for Bournemouth, which for this game, I'll go for a 2-2 two -two scoreline for that one. My next one is West Ham versus Sheffield United. West Ham losing 2 0 away to Everton. Sheffield United beating Arsenal 1 0 at home. Great three points for Sheffield United. Um, you know, I did watch that game because it was live on telly. And I thought Sheffield United thoroughly deserved that win. Uh, you know, great three points for Sheffield United. Uh, don't have nothing away from that. West Ham went on a really bad game against Everton. I've already said, but so again, on the West Ham perspective, I think they were really poor. Um, there was no real, you know, sort of flair to the game on the West Ham end. Well, uh, Everton could have had more as well. I know West Ham did have your chance in the second half, but with me... If it's 45 minutes one team, 45 the next, I'll roughly say most games end, the, end as a draw, um, and that's being fair. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-0 West Ham win. I know Sheffield's not going to be flying confidence after that Arsenal victory as well. Um, my next one is Burnley versus Chelsea. Chelsea beating Newcastle 1 0 at home. Burnley beat, uh, losing to Leicester 2 1 away from home. VAR played its part in that Burnley game. And now I will talk about it. Should that Chris Wood goal have stood? What I've seen. Um, Even I find it hard to call. Um, did Johnny Evans trip himself up? Did, you know, with all this, I possibly think he should have stood. But that's just my opinion. While I'm on the third of VAR, um, I have heard and I've watched a bit of stuff about this VAR. You may have realised that I'll go over this side first. Um, that none of the referees are have to use the VAR monitors at the side of the pitch. I've heard um, something an ex-referee talking to a certain radio station and saying the referees do want to use the side screens, but apparently on the other side. Um, this is Mike Riley, who's in charge of the referees. He's saying we're not urging the referees to use the screens. My, we played over 90 games of football in the Premier League already, and the screens have not been used once. I think we need to start using them. I think what for sure have had a penalty. I'll talk more about that um, as well. Watford, I think, should have had a penalty. I think VAR could have been used way, way, way much better this weekend than what it's ever had the chance to do. And this is where I come in and stand up for the VAR. Is it the VAR or is it the match officials? My argument is we're the best league in the world and with or without VAR, 
um, we're becoming a laughing stock, in my opinion. I think that it's time to start using the VAR properly. If you're not sure, you're talking to the um, VAR assistant, then go look at the screen. It's two minutes. It's two minutes that could change a game. That's my opinion. You know how I feel about VAR. I've made it clear plenty of times. But we need to start. Well, we don't need to start. We can't, but. The referees need to start using it properly, otherwise this league is going to be a laughing stock um, with or without the AR. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Chelsea win. My next one is Newcastle versus Wolverhampton. Newcastle losing 1-0 away to Chelsea, just as you mentioned that. Wolverhampton 1-1 against Southampton at home. And yet again, VAR was in use for the Wolverhampton game. Now, I've just told you my opinions of it. Should Wolves have certain goals? You know, it's up to the bait. But I think the rule book is so unclear that the referees need to go over it. My personal opinion is, I remember on Saturday night, um, after all the highlights in the Premier League and that, I put an MLS game on and I felt more excited watching an MLS game than what I do at any Premier League game. And yet again, it's not just because of the VAR and how I use it, it's because I know the match officials are doing the right thing over there. And this is where we've got a question. Are, the, are our referees doing the job? Or, you know, aren't they? Please feel free to put your opinions down below. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-0 Wolverhampton win. My next one is Arsenal versus Crystal Palace. Arsenal losing 1-0 away to Sheffield United. Crystal Palace lose a 2-0 at home to Man City. I think I think Crystal Palace played alright. I think Arsenal were absolutely terrible. Um, I really can't... I don't know where Una Emery's going, and that's just from a neutral fan's perspective. Um, but I think we've got to start questioning with Arsenal... Where are they in the Premier League? Are they top four? Are they top eight? Are they top ten? Or are they bottom half? I mean, if that performance anywhere near Arsenal last night keeps continuing throughout the season, don't forget we're not even halfway through yet, I can actually see them um, in the bottom half. In my opinion, I know some of you ain't going to like that. And, you know, you are free to put your... Um, you know, comments and your opinion down below the one I was looking for. But that's my opinion with Arsenal. Palace, as I said, I think I'm a bit unlucky, which why for this result I'll go for a 2-1 Crystal Palace win. My next one is Liverpool versus Tottenham. Liverpool drawing 1-1 with Man United. Yet again, VAR was in use. Um, Tottenham drawing 1-1 with Watford at home. Disappointing day for Tottenham. And yet VAR was called in again for that Deli Alley goal. Should it have stood? Shouldn't it? It's up to debate. Uh, I, if we're going to say with the arm. Um, where, like where the arm starts. and where it, uh, My opinion was ball hit there. Don't know if you can see that. Um, if that's the case, then that's just probably you know start the sh at the end of the shoulder. But if not, then it's a handball. Um, you know, but Liverpool have a VAR goal ruled out for Mane. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a two-nil Liverpool win. My last one for this weekend is Norwich City versus Manchester United. Man United 
drawing one all at home with Liverpool, Norwich City nil nil at home to Bourm uh, away to Bournemouth. VAR was in use for the Marcus Rashford goal. Do I think it's a fair what I've seen and um, what I've heard? I'm more slightly tipping that away in a fair. But so many players try it on. Um, I'm not just saying Liverpool here, but I'm saying all clubs all over the UK. I think players try it on so much. The referee do find it hard when you're hurt and when you're not hurt. Um, but, you know, looking at it overall, I don't think it was a foul, but I think it was close to actually being one. Norwich coming away with a point against Bournemouth, not a bad result considering the, pre the previous weekend, uh, before the international break, Norwich lost 5-0 to Villa. Norwich will be going into this game, same as anyone with United at the minute, going, we could beat them, and I'm going to favour them to do that. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Norwich City win. But anyway, guys, give, us a, give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.